Tonight, fears of more long delays after a shake-up to Sydney's rail budget. NRL pin-up boy David Williams charged over a late-night fight in King's Cross. The removalists arrive, helping Julia and Tim adjust to life after the launch. Egypt on the brink of a military takeover as a crucial deadline looms. And Judith Durham celebrates turning 70, vowing to return to the stage. This is 7 News at 6 with Chris Barth. Good evening. Sydney's half million rail commuters are being warned underspending on tracks and train maintenance will only cause more frustrating delays. Seven News can reveal cuts in key areas of the state budget explain why delays are happening more often than not. Just before 9am, it's a typical Sydney work day with hundreds of passengers going nowhere. A mechanical fault forces them off their train at Erskine. Bowery, Seven News. Still to come in 7 News at 6, new rules to cut mobile bill shock for overseas travellers. Also, teenage friends injured in a horrifying parasailing accident. And the revolutionary treatment helping paralysed people move again. That's next. There are new rules to avoid bill shock from using a mobile overseas. Phone companies have been warned that from late September they must alert customers about high charges, which have seen some people slugged thousands of dollars. It's gobsmacking. The shock suffered by so many Australian travellers, a phone bill more expensive than the Karen airfare. O'Sullivan, 7 News. Time for sport now with Jim Wilson and Paul Gallen says he'll be right for the decider. Chris Gallen says he will be named on Sunday and says he will be desperate to play. We'll have the latest next. Today he was a proud dad and coming up we'll hear from the blue skipper. Plus selection shocks for the Wallabies and the Lions as the Red Army gets set to invade Sydney and it's all yellow for an Aussie star at the Tour de France. A massive boost for the Blues with skipper Paul Gallen confident he'll overcome a foot injury in time for the State of Origin decider. Game three is now officially a sellout with Gallen desperate to help New South Wales end Queensland's seven-year reign. No surprises when it comes to what Cody Gallen will be yelling out at the Origin decider. So don't forget tonight it's Djokovic against Thomas Burdish followed by Andy Murray and Fernando Vadasco exclusively live on 7-2 from 10 o'clock and Chris will flick across to right here on 7 just after midnight, a big night ahead of the championships. Nice plug, thanks Jim. Okay. Still to come in 7 News at 6, the fresh Sydney face is hoping for a shot at modelling stardom. And we're in for some unseasonably warm July weather. I'll have Sydney's forecast next. This weather report brought to you by Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Fish. Tonight's 7 News headlines fears of more long delays after a shake-up to the Sydney rail budget. Manly NRL player David Williams charged over a late-night fight in King's Cross. Julia Gillard adjusts to life after the lodge with removalists packing up at the PM's residence. And Seekers singer Judith Durham celebrates turning 70 with a promise to return to the stage. Hundreds of teenage girls have lined up in the hope of becoming modelling's next big thing. Parramatta Westfield hosted the Girlfriend magazine Model Search today, Australia's longest running competition of its kind. Just 12 finalists were chosen from the crowd. The overall winner will secure a two year modelling contract and receive a year's supply of makeup. Probably enough to make many teenage girls jealous. Now here's Sarah with Sydney's weather. Thank you, Chris. Well, it felt more like spring in Sydney today with sunny weather and temperatures well above average. It reached 20 degrees this afternoon. The morning was quite chilly, though, just 8 degrees at 7 o'clock. Minimums fell to 5 in Parramatta and Liverpool, 2 at Richmond, with local frosts in the outer southwestern suburbs. The sunshine pushed top temperatures into the high teens this afternoon. From the satellite, it is looking clear over New South Wales. Thanks to a broad high-pressure system, there is a large cold front near the Bight though, which is moving eastwards. Now that will bring windy weather to South Australia, Victoria, Tasmania and southern New South Wales tomorrow. There is a severe weather warning for the Snowy Mountains for destructive winds and 5 to 10 centimetres of snow is possible on the ski fields in the next few days. 
Interstate windy with a shower or two in Adelaide and in Melbourne tomorrow. It'll be a cold, wet day in Hobart, 14 degrees. Pretty chilly in Canberra, just 13, and Brisbane will reach 24. On our waters, there is a strong wind warning offshore. Northwesterlies reaching 30 knots by the afternoon. Now, the weather is staying clear in Sydney tonight. Tomorrow, it will be sunny again and just a little windy, 21 degrees. That's five above average thanks to the warmer northwesterly winds. Now, those winds will become fresh and gusty at times, especially during the afternoon. We're heading for tops of 21 degrees at Richmond and Parramatta tomorrow, 20 in Manly and at Penrith. It'll be 19 in Cherry Hills and Cronulla. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast, it will be warm and windy again on Friday. 20 in the city, 19 degrees in the west, but it will cool down on the weekend. Top temperatures around 17 degrees, remaining dry on Saturday and Sunday. And just some early coastal showers early next week, Chris. Thanks, Sarah. And that's 7 News at 6. I'm Chris Barr. Thanks for your company. Hope you enjoy your evening. Now here's Today Tonight.